We're going to talk about frequency tables now, and um, I'm going to answer some questions about frequency tables. And a frequency table is a way to present information. Okay, so let's say uh, I'm investigating the scores uh, students obtain for their maths test, and as you can see, the lower score is a zero, and the highest score they can get is a four. Yeah, and I asked my friend, and the first uh, person I asked, he said, well, I got a zero. So I'm going to put a tally there uh, for the zero. And somebody else had a two, um, and let's say then the next two students had a three, so I'm going to put two tallies there. Then we had two students who had a four, somebody else had a zero, unfortunately. Um, somebody had a three, somebody had a four, and the last person again had a three. Okay, so I've asked my friends, and I used the tally diagram uh, to put a tally every time Somebody had a score of 0, 2, 3, or 4. And then at the end, I can finish my frequency table and say, so if I add up the tallies, I have a frequency of 2, a frequency of 0, nobody got a score of 1, one person had a score of 2, four people had a score of 3, and three people had a score of 4. And so how many people do I ask in total? 2, 3, 6, 10 people I've asked in total. Okay, now so far I think you understand that, but um, you can get questions about it. And the first one, what is the modal class? And the second question we're going to answer is calculate the mean. And especially this one is um, confusing for some students, but it shouldn't be. What is the modal class? So we know what the mode is, yeah? And modal class means the same thing like which one is the most popular? And then you would say a score of three, yeah? It's the most popular class, yeah? So the modal class is three, not four, no. Three, that's the class, because it has four pieces of information in it, four people got a three, it's the most popular one, so the model class is a three. Good, so I could put that there, the three. And calculate the mean, okay. And as you know, the mean is the sum of all the values divided by the amount of values, yeah? And how many values do I have? How many people did I ask? I already said 10, okay. And just by looking at the scores, if I had to estimate the mean, what would I say? I'd say, well, what is it going to be? Maybe three, maybe two, two and a half or something. It's going to be two and a half roughly. Anyway, I realized that my mean needs to be between zero and four. Yeah, cannot be less than zero. And my mean, my average, if you like, cannot be more than four either. Okay, and how do you do that? How do you calculate the mean? So you have to do the following. I'll do it over here. I realize that the frequency table means two people have a zero. So I could do two times zero plus, well, nobody's got a one, yeah? So I can do zero times one plus one person has a two, so I do one times two plus four people of three, four times three plus and three people of four three times four, that just fits. Divided by, yeah, how many people gave me a value? 10 people. Because I realized by looking at a frequency table that this actually means I got a zero, I got a zero, I've got a two, I've got a three, a three, a three, a three, and I've got a four, a four, and a four, okay? So I have two times a zero, yeah? Zero times a one, I have one times a two, four times a three, and three times a four, okay? That's crucial that you understand that, okay? And if I add that all up, I'm going to get, what is that? Zero plus zero plus two plus 12 plus 12, 24, so that's gonna be 26. I'll just do it on this side. So 26 divided by 10, yeah, so it is going to be, so my final answer, it's a little bit messy, I'll put it here, 2.6, I just don't have the space, 2.6. Hey, hang on a minute, that's what I expected. I said, it's gonna be about 2.5, is that what I said? Okay, now what is the mistake students make? Yeah, they will do correctly two times zero plus zero times one plus one, yeah? they do that part correctly, but then they divide it by one, two, three, four, five, yeah? Because they do not, they do not really understand what a frequency table is. So they divide it by the amount of classes, divided by five. So they get 26 divided by five, which is 5.2. And they write down 5.2. But that is a silly answer, isn't it? Because how can your mean, how can your average be more than your highest score? How can it be 5.2? 
doesn't make sense, does it? Oh yeah, hang on a minute. I should not divide it by five. No, I should divide it by 10. Because I don't have five pieces of information. No, I have one, two, yeah, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pieces of information. Okay, so please be careful there. Good. Uh, check out my videos about grouped frequency tables and where we have to calculate an estimate of the mean. Calculating an estimate. That's funny, isn't it? I'll see you there. Bye-bye.